Hey there, Christian Livingstone again. Listen, I wanted to follow up a little and add this to the earlier clip from this morning uh, about how well this USB uh, solution, phone, uh, computer, internet uh, solution is working. Uh, uh, by mentioning uh, the exact piece of software that's making it all happen and uh, mention a little bit about the uh, antenna uh, booster that I'm using and uh, a little bit about setting up the phone uh, account uh, and even uh, an iTunes account as well. And uh, let me just start by turning this around and showing you the exact piece of software and what it's called. There it is. It's PDA Net Plus and. Uh, uh, that's what's making all this work uh, so nicely. And there's some settings that uh, you change on the phone and uh, possibly your computer. I, I think there was a, a network setting on the computer. But uh, if you just do a, an internet search on that piece of software, you know, how to set it up, you'll get information on how to do it. It's, it's not a, a big deal. But uh, you do install it on the phone and the computer as well. Uh, and they have that software for just about all the different uh, uh, phones like this, smartphones and iPhones and all that stuff. Um, so next, uh, I'll mention that when I uh, set up this uh, phone account uh, on the uh, computer, the uh, dialog uh, first asks you, you know, what's the... Uh, the zip code you're going to be using this phone and of course I put in uh, the local one here so that you know you use the uh, local cell towers I suppose and uh, that also generates you a uh, an area code uh, phone number uh, that is local so that when you make local calls you don't have to put in the prefix to the area code which is helpful you know if you punch in, if you put in contacts, even if you're using a phone with a, a an out of the area uh, area code, uh, you know, your contact list, you know, it's just one button almost to, to dial, but uh, it's nice to have a local uh, telephone number, but right after that, uh, in the dialogue, it'll ask you for your mailing address, and that doesn't have to correspond with the, uh, the locale, and uh, the benefit of putting a you know, a much different uh, mailing address like I always do. I always, uh, in those kind of cases, uh, to avoid sales tax going to counties and cities, uh, I'll put uh, my address uh, in a, uh, a sales tax-free jurisdiction. And that's what I did for the uh, Virgin Mobile uh, uh, setup, activation of the phone. I, I gave me a local phone number, but uh, possibly running in the background would be uh, uh, some sales taxes uh, uh, that uh, Virgin Mobile is compelled to collect uh, for, you know, some lazy bureaucrats that are doing nothing for it. So, uh, you know, that possibly defeats that. It's the same with uh, iTunes, you know, if you uh, uh, list uh, your uh, uh, mailing address, even though you don't get mail from these kind of uh, uh, internet uh, uh, relationships where you purchase uh, items or download uh, stuff from iTunes, uh, you know, if you put your sales tax free mailing address, uh, then you don't pay any sales tax. Uh, and, you know, if you do put, uh, you know, one where there is sales tax uh, 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 forced on uh, uh, these vendors and businesses, then, you know, you will see on your iTunes uh, purchases uh, a tax going to these lazy bureaucrats sitting in an office somewhere, and they're just saying, ha, 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 thank you, we didn't do anything, but, uh, you know, gee, we'll hire some more cops or, you know, spend some more money on stuff that uh, we like. So anyway, those uh, two areas, uh, you know, you can kind of... Uh, you know, you can kind of deny the beast a little bit. You know, without any hostility or anything. It's just, uh, it's just a smart thing, you know. You don't feed the bears. 
So anyway, uh, back to the screen here. We're downloading. Uh, got a couple more to go. Uh, and uh, I also wanted to mention this uh, cradle. You know, you may not have noticed, but this cradle is not just, you know, a, a pretty place to put your phone. It, it actually serves a, a pretty, pretty good function. This is a, an antenna booster, and as you can see, here's a, a cable uh, that uh, goes out to an antenna that uh, is, you know, fixed to the edge of the roof there. So uh, it brings the uh, the antenna signal right in here. Behind here is a, is a booster, and it's got a little power from a USB uh, cable, or you can plug it right in to an outlet. Uh, but uh, that brings the signal right to the back of this and it doesn't have to actually connect with any kind of a cable or a jack uh, from an antenna into your phone it just uh, picks up right to the back of your phone from that pad right there and these are uh, used uh, in cars as well you know there's some bad spots you're traveling and if you want to you know improve that uh, cell phone uh, uh, reception you can and as you can see right there what the what the uh, oh, what the reception is without it come on all right get the get that focus there it's a couple of bars let me back off wake this thing up and try to get the glare and focus better there it is okay see it's still kind of close to it so that's it's usually not quite that good this thing keeps falling asleep but anyway there's usually two bars but the closer I get to this and then insert it you'll see how much better the reception gets wait for it Wait for it. Wake up. Yeah, it's jumping up there. There it is. Once it gets in the cradle, it jumps up to full strength uh, antenna reception. So, you know, when you're downloading big files and stuff, you want all the help you can get with the uh, reception. Uh, and so uh, uh, the cradle is good. The, the cradle in the company is called uh, Wilson Sleet. That's the product name, and uh, they're quite effective. And uh, they're about oh eighty dollars, a hundred dollars. And uh, I recommend if you're going to do this kind of a thing, uh, that that uh, is is a good addition. But you know, theoretically, you could just do it with the phone on the USB cable for the USB tethering. And. Uh, other than that, we mentioned the software, we mentioned the uh, antenna, we mentioned setting up accounts and starving the beast a little bit. Oh, I got a UPS guy coming. It's been quite uh, snowy out here. I'll zip out there for a minute, you'll see. Uh, here he comes. Okay, I'm going to check out for a minute. But anyway, uh, that little piece of software uh, is, uh, you know, it's going to save people uh, about 15 or 20 bucks a month because most carriers will uh, offer a tethering service like what is happening right here. This actually isn't wireless tethering. This is a wired uh, USB tether, but uh, usually uh, they want to charge a, an added uh, 15 to 20 bucks a month. And... Uh, with that uh, one-time uh, software purchase, uh, you know, you don't have to pay that. And uh, other carriers uh, like Sprint may be able to detect uh, what's going on here, but apparently not Virgin, which is, you know, I, I kind of knew that going in. So, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of following other people's advice uh, in doing this, and sure enough, it's, it's working beautifully. Now, you know, they might come across and notify me uh, by email or, or through the phone or something and say hey you've exceeded this or we think you're USB tethering and you know that doesn't technically uh, you know violate any agreement that we had but still we're gonna slow you down and we don't like you and 
you know, we're going to tell your mama. So we'll see how that goes. So, uh, but in the, in the meanwhile, this is uh, working out quite well. And uh, for those people out there who, you know, like me, have kind of waited, you know, till this uh, late time in the... Uh, you know, smartphone market. You know, I really didn't want to get into all this Android and iPhone stuff because, uh, you know, it's expensive uh, and, you know, it's complicated and there's a lot of new stuff and, you know, but uh, it's really uh, uh, quite uh, easy now. I think uh, the technology's arrived. This Android, I'm on this one four point something. It's called Jelly Bean and they got ice cream cone and gingerbread and all these crazy names for them but uh, the uh, software the operating system on Android has arrived and of course on uh, Apple's iPhones apparently the OS uh, I has uh, been good for for some time so I think uh, people are starting to conclude that uh, you know the Apple iPhone and the Android uh, smartphones are, are comparable units and uh, you know just because you have a, an Apple uh, for your computer doesn't mean you have to stick with an Apple iPhone to kinda you know sync them and stuff. The, there's all kinds of apps for the uh, Android stuff that makes them play very well with computers you know like you're seeing here. I, I uh, there's, there's nothing that Apple offers through Verizon for me, which is important for for various reasons, political and stuff like that, uh, that I could use that would do this, you know, mostly because of that uh, 4G. Uh, Verizon uh, is only offering this. This is their first phone with that 4G LTE, which is now available in this city. So, you know, it's all come together, and it's it's brought me to the. Uh, the Android rather than the uh, iPhone solution. So uh, this is going to do uh, uh, those two things for me if I want it to. Uh, not only be a great uh, uh, modem for internet purposes and downloading, but you know for uh, a groovy phone too. And there's a whole bunch of neat apps uh, for uh, Android. And you know I'm not really an ace with all this uh, smartphone stuff, but. Uh, you know, it's it's not that daunting to just get in there and download some apps and throw some away, bring some in, and uh, the uh, phone rec or the uh, voice recognition stuff with like Google Search and stuff is is really quite amazing. So you know, I've had this thing less than a day, and you know, I'm really digging it, and I've been kind of giddy about it on Facebook. Oh look, look at what it does, yeah. Gee, it's cheaper, it's faster, it's smarter, it's better, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, oh, and uh, I'll let me show you the uh, screen again, because it's moving along pretty good there. I've seemed to notice about uh, 10 minutes for these 45-minute uh, episodes of, uh, of uh, elementary, you know. These are 600 megabyte files downloading in about 10 minutes, and that one shows it's going to take a little longer. But uh, before, that's what they were doing. So the speed varies. It's it's quite fast uh, compared to 3G for sure. And uh, the uh, Verizon, I believe, has a cap on on the speed once you download uh, so much whether it's five gigabytes or ten gigabytes uh, it'll slow your speed down and you know I may be just hitting that around now since but but it's hard to tell already uh, I'm uh, quite happy with the amount of data that I'm able to download because uh, you know, I don't download all that much in a month, but uh, I like to rent movies on iTunes and download some uh, uh, TV episodes from there. And uh, it looks like uh, I'll be able to watch Hulu uh, uh, on uh, through the modem too. So, you know, that might save me some money uh, instead of downloading some of those TV episodes. So. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I'll post this uh, little segment uh, and uh, stitch it up together. It might uh, might be about five, eight, ten minutes uh, worth of video, and uh, that'll just 
pass what I'm doing along to you guys if you're in the same position as me as, you know, not wanting to spend a lot, but wanting to get a lot. You know, you want a fast uh, modem speed, and maybe you don't have uh, a social security number or a great credit rating or whatever. There is a solution if your town uh, has uh, 4G, uh, and uh, I'm sure it's coming to a town uh, near you soon as it has me, you know. So, uh, I think, uh, you know, if you want to check it out, go ahead. Uh, Virgin Mobile, the Samsung uh, Galaxy Victory, and that uh, little piece of software, uh, PDA Net Plus, and also the uh, Wilson Sleet. They're all kind of confluence coming together and uh, making it work for me. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.